Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am Craig with 3D Resin Solutions, and if you're unfamiliar with us, we are the creators of the Hero and Anti-Hero line of SLA resins. We also a, a certified distributor of the Unis printers, which I am unboxing right behind me here. And a couple videos back, I did a tutorial on the Unis software, which has a lot of cool features that may be unique in the industry. And also, I did a video on how to drill a hole in what I'm going to print here in this video. Um, so we can print it straight up and down. It is a vase here, so the, obviously it did turn out well. Um, but if you want to know exactly how I set this up, you got to go back a couple videos. Uh, today we're doing a speed test, and I'm using the Unis ABS resin gray is what we used in this. And I printed it in two hours and three minutes. Now that's not as fast as I can push the software, but it is pretty quick. So I'm also going to show you how fast it would take me if I wanted to print it on like a Form 2. So I'll set up the same exact file and the same resolution, and we'll see how long the Form 2 estimates that it would print. In the meantime, I'm getting everything out of the box here, so let's go over some of that. Uh, I do have a half-face respirator on. I'm in a UV lab, so not necessarily something that you need all the time, but where I work, it is certainly something that I want to have on. Um, I'm just going to pause this for just a moment. So... What came in the box is it did come with a metal scraper. It also came with uh, a screwdriver and some other tools to help you set up. And it probably only took me about 30 seconds. I knew what I was doing, of course, to actually get this thing all set up and going. But the one thing that you, I wanted to mention is there is two power supplies. The Unis Slash Plus needs a lot of power, and that is because it is the fastest desktop printer available on the market today. It has a patented cooling process. It also has a lot of features that allows you to change the up and down um, speed of the motor and some other things if you want to go into more detail there again go back to a couple videos where I, where I show those things um, now right about here in the video I think is where I struggled to turn the thing on that has nothing to do with the unis itself it actually has to do with the fact that um, the zip strip uh, was off so once I figured that on out and I think I do it right now and there we go so there we go back to normal all right so it came with a two male USB port. So it's not a standard USB cord. If you just saw there, that was uh, two male ends. So you can't just go to Best Buy and actually pick one of those up. As I learned, it does come with one, but if you damage it, that's something you have to either special order from Unis or uh, actually you can just pick them up on Amazon, which isn't a problem either. So I'm going to pause right there real quick. Let's, let's backtrack here. So what I'm doing right here is actually calibrating. Um, I'm about to calibrate actually and I'm just checking to make sure that the LCD screen is working properly so uh, when you plug it in I just did a direct connection into the PC as long as you download the software from the Unis website you don't have to do really anything other than that you plug it directly into the printer and you're pretty much good to go so on the right hand side you can see over here if you can see my cursor um, there's a button that says uh, show logo and I click that button and that helps you test the the LCD screen which of course lights up real quick and then that's how you know it's good to go I give you the thumbs up there all right so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to level it out to calibrate the z-axis so you push it all the way down flat onto the screen the LCD screen is really strong actually so you can push pretty hard down I'm testing with a piece of paper to make sure that the piece of paper on both ends is very difficult to slide in if it's level like this and the paper slides in real easy over here and really hard over here that means you're not level and that's an unfortunate problem but that is not the case in this case so I go ahead and I'm gonna put the resin tank in here in just a second and we're gonna get ready to print alright so I'm gonna fast forward a little bit a lot of this is unnecessary so skip here I use the again the ABS resin and I shake it up very well before I go ahead and do a print um, make sure that the colorant and the, and the pigment is e evenly distributed, of course, so it cures properly. All right, so let's fast forward here. And I get us loaded up. Whoop, there we go. All right, so I get us onto the file, and I'm going to go ahead and press print. And here we go. So actually, when you, what well, you couldn't see in the video here, and now you're in the uh, fast pace. All you have to do is press print or the play button on the software itself and then the green circle that you see lighting up there you have to touch it once so you touch it once and then it'll start going green just like you see there and the blocks just kind of move themselves around you can see if I pause here you can see the little hole that we created in the in the video to um, in mesh mixer in two videos ago I believe and uh, we just drilled a little hole there and that prevents the suction effect okay so if it's like this and I didn't have that hole 
this would this would create a suction on the resin and it would potentially possibly pull itself off of the build plate which is something obviously we don't want so in mesh mixer we created a little hole there so we can quickly print up and down and it, it worked out really well uh, again two hours and three minutes so there you go there's our final all right so let's just take a look at what it would be let's say i wanted to print this in the form too let's see what kind of time we're talking about here so i'm going to open up the preform software and we can close this out Oh, I have this open too. I'll show you this here. Those settings in just a second. Compare those to the form too. Um, this I can get rid of. All right, so. So on the layer thickness here, the first thing that I'll just mentioned it's not quite fair this is a 0.1 layer thickness so in the unis slash when i'm printing something like this and i want to go faster i actually used a 0.2 layer thickness so twice as thick so that's something that i'm not sure i have the capabilities of doing um in the form 2 software so 100 uh, is the highest uh, highest resolution i'm sorry the lowest resolution it'll allow me to go so right there, it's at a little bit of a disadvantage for something like this, where it doesn't really need to be high definition. I actually think I could print this with a 0.3 layer thickness, which the Unis software does allow, and get exceptional quality. Um, this really does have great quality, and I'll show a picture at the end uh, of a more up-close photo. So let's just see the fastest I could possibly print my vase. Okay, this is the same size. I'm not doing any scaling here. And if I wanted to print it directly on the build platform in the center so no supports the estimated print time is nine hours and 30 minutes so I'm just gonna mention this one more time I printed this in two hours and three minutes and the best I can do on the form 2 is nine hours and 30 minutes okay so that's the first thing I'm gonna point out Let's take a look at the software and show you how I exactly set this up just one more time. I went through the settings, but here's what it is. So in here, I have the layer thickness. Oops, I'm sitting right in front of it. Let me move myself. Uh, this guy. There we go. So take a look at these settings over here in the corner. All right. So first I get to choose the ABS resin. I chose the cooldown time. At, usually it's set to auto which increases the time a little bit if I went to do a reslice. It added 35 minutes. So when I went to print, I took the auto cooldown time, the amount of time that it sits and does nothing, I put that to zero. Because of the patented cooling process in the unit slash plus, you don't really need cooldown time, not for this, something like this. So I put that to zero. And then again, I'm in a layer thickness of 0.2. I can go all the way to 0.3 if I'd like, reslice that out. And we're down to an hour and 47 minutes. These estimated times are extremely accurate, actually. Okay, they're down to the 30 seconds or so, I would say. And if I really wanted to make it go fast, I could take the rise height and I can put that to, well, actually, I don't like to touch that too much, but I could take the motor speed and put that to high as well. And then if I reslice that out, I get down to an hour and 39 minutes, okay? All right, so a very quick unboxing video just showing you uh, the quality. And now that I have the file that I want printed out, and set up and I know it works using the Unis ABS resin. I'm going to go ahead and uh, right, actually I'll do that. No, nope. I'm going to go ahead and try using the Hero line of resins manufactured here at 3D Resin Solutions. So what I'll be doing is creating custom colors, custom color vases to match maybe home decor. We created color palettes that are very easy to just print at home and match your curtains, your um, couch, your wallpaper whatever it is that you're trying to match to create just custom unique things at home. Of course, that's not the only thing we do with it. If you, uh, if you like, subscribe to the channel. We do a lot of different videos, creating custom colors for hobby pieces and prints in general. As always, thank you so much for stopping by. Please like, subscribe to the video. Again, I know I've asked, but you know, it does help us get off the ground a little bit. You can follow me at Hero Resin. If you want to try out any of these resins or products, hit the link down below, www.3dresinsolutions.com, where you can find all those things or contact us if you'd like. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and comment on the video, and I'll be doing my best to get back to you. Thank you so much for listening, and make it a great day.